is not a situation where you take a foul. This is a time where you lock down and get a stop defensively. James drives, goes into the rim. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch they say, they say it's Cleveland ball. Kevin Durant with excellent defense on that play. Well, to me, that's a foul. He got fouled, but now it's going to be off James because Durant never touched the ball. And I agree, in these situations, you should be able to look at this and say, that's contact. No, that's the point of replay. It's a fallacy that we want to get the calls right because the most important ones, fouls or non-fouls, are not subject to the replay rules. So, to me, the whole, it's, oh, he got fouled there. He got fouled there. Yep. And now they're going to lose the ball. It's, you know, one of the good things this offseason was reducing the amount of timeouts to try to help the flow of the game at the end. But when you have the replays, it completely negates that. I mean, he got fouled right across the shoulder here. I mean, it's you can't look at fouls, don't have replay. And it's tough because if I'm a referee going over, look at this. I'm thinking, I missed that. I messed up. And that's where old school referees before replay were allowed to correct mistakes that they saw and give the ball back. So, you know, some people didn't like that, but as a, as a coach, I loved it that they ultimately made you whole. This are going to try to figure out, man, we missed two foul calls. All right, let's bring in our man Steve Javi back in the studio to discuss. First off, Steve, did you see a foul on that play? What did you see on that drive by James? Well, there's obviously contact in the beginning of the play that the referee probably to find his marginal contact going to the basket. Now there is contact after he hits the ball too, across the shoulder, as Jeff says. So in real time, this looks like a block shot to me. Contact and a block shot, very similar. Thank you, Steve. They say it's Golden State ball. Pass inside the green, back out. In fairness, Mike, with all due respect, what did Steve just say? Is that a foul? No, he said marginal contact. So no foul? On that play, yeah. That's a foul, man. Can I get an amen? That's, that's a foul. That's an amen to me. They had a foul to give here on that inbounds. Next one's in the penalty. Poked away by J.R. Smith. And Thompson is hit with 18.9 remaining. Now Golden State, if they hit their free throws, they'll win this game. And you know, Mike, uh, but part of the problem is, as a former player, as a former coach, I can say, well, bad play by Kevin Durant, a bad play by LeBron James. I could say Jeff Van Gundy, bad execution as a coach, bringing your team out on the floor and designing the play. Well, I should be able to say, Mr. Referee, bad call. You did a bad job. Across the board, bad job, and just call it what it is. That's a foul. That's a missed call. But here's my problem. The replay system is set up to protect re uh, officials. So let's protect them. Let, let's allow them to go back and see if that was a foul call or not. Why has it only got to be whether it's you're on the line or it's a charge call or if it's a restricted area call? I, I, I've never understood that logic that we don't want to get all the calls right.